Hello, everyone. Good, good afternoon, and welcome to the the state of the fintech in Latin America. We we welcome. We we apologize for. Thank you. Sorry, a little background noise. We wanted to just begin already the the, the presentation, and we will um, also open up um, questions in the end. I wanted to just first to begin and thank everyone for attending the webinar. We this is actually a series of webinars we have prepared for you in January, because fintech is the spotlight this month. Latin Startups is a nonprofit organization based in Toronto, Canada that helps startups to scale. I'm your host today. My name is Rafael Pinto, and I'm one of the directors of Latam Startups. I'm located in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Today, as I mentioned again, if you have any questions or comments, please use, please use the hashtag at Latam Startups. And also, you can contact us directly at contact at Latam Startups dot biz and if we don't have time to to answer all the questions we will try and answer the first three we will definitely follow up and and keep the communication going with you by email to try and follow up with everybody's questions and comments accordingly uh, fintech is is actually one of the major startup sectors growing since last year 2016 and many solutions in fintech have become disruptive for a traditional market such as the financial sector. The interesting thing here is that many new financial technology companies are now based globally and not just coming from Silicon Valley. And this is a phenomenon that is happening not just in fintech, but in many other industries. In 2015, the fintech industry grew 106%, according to KPMG and CN Insights. Just in the first quarter of 2016, companies in this sector raised $4.9 billion. Traditional sectors and emerging economies, such as Latin America, actually can adopt new technologies faster than developed countries due to the leapfrogging effect that is well known in many emerging, emerging economies, as the population in these countries tend to adopt faster new technologies in order to catch up with the tendencies around the world. And according to the World Bank, just 51% of the population in Latin America have a bank account, and 14% have savings. As far as the number, as the numbers don't look good in the traditional financial sector, this actually represents a huge opportunity in emerging fintech companies, as well as in investing funds looking to give options for a larger port, portion of the population that doesn't have an option to get credit and general, general access to banking in Latin America. Brazil and Mexico represent big markets in this specific sector. Brazil has a population of over, of over 200 million people, and Mexico over 110 million people. Um, access to credit through smartphones is also becoming a popular option. Considering a large size of the population in Latin America is acquiring this technology, to communicate day to day. According to eMarketer, in Latin America, there are 400 million smartphone users. And also the growing data, there's a growing data in internet penetration in Latin America, which helps companies like Nubank to offer credit services to a large part, part of the population that want access to credit in a simple way. It's estimated that by 2020, more than 80% of Latin America will have access to 3G connection or higher. M microfinance is another sector that is growing in Latin America under fintech. And there's no surprise that Bitcoin is another big player in the market. Due to the risk, some Latin American economies represent portfolios to different companies. And having transactions in Bitcoin have become a good alternative in the market. Financial technology solutions also represent a big opportunity for those Latin, Latin Americans 
living outside of their countries to send regular payments to their families in their native countries. Latin America and the Caribbean received a total of remit remittances in 2014 of over $65 million, according to the Inter-American Development Bank. So immigrants feel that sending money through these solutions and smartphones facilitates the process, re reducing time and fees. There are big opportunities for fintech companies emerging in Latin America, but there are big challenges as well. Between them, fintech companies are facing gray areas in the legislation in many countries due to the lack of clear, clear information and rules can represent a risk for many companies developing solutions in this area, as well as, as investments um, that have barriers due to the legal framework they have to face in each country. Some have a range of different barriers depending on where you're located and what the population, what is the population that you're targeting actually. And banks are aware of this situation as well uh, with the competition that new companies in fintech represent. As BBVA in Innovation Center mentioned recently in Mexico City, they don't feel the competition is any more than, and, than other banks. But fintech companies are emerging strong. FinTech will continue to grow in Latin America, no matter if the crisis in economies are around some of the bigger countries. This actually represents a huge opportunity for those that are creating solutions. According with Statista, the transaction value in the FinTech market will be around $76 million by 2017. This value is expected to increase each year until 2021 by 18.2% resulting in a, tra in a transaction value in this last year of around $180 million. The market's largest segment is in digital payments. In terms of countries leading the market, Brazil and Mexico represent the biggest markets in fintech because they offer similar infrastructure development that support fintech solutions. Both countries have high internet penetration and high levels of smartphone users, which contributes to increasing the inclusion. In terms of infrastructure, Brazil has poorer conditions than countries from the Pacific Alliance region, for example. And in this case, Mexico is a big player. In Brazil, also, the bureaucratic, the bureaucratic procedure to create a company can be longer and more painful than in other, com than in other countries. Although this is a fact, um, Brazil still has the, the largest fintech ecosystem in Latin America. And with more 200 and more than 200 fintech startups in the market for both customers with bank accounts and those without it. Payments and remittances in this segment has the highest number of startups. 31% are building solutions in this area, followed by the enterprise financial ma management. It's also interesting to notice that Brazil has a good number of startups developing wealth management segments, with almost half of them developing automated wealth management services, or robo-advisors, as they call it. According to the last study made by the Inter-American Development Bank and Finovista, 35% of startups in the fintech sector describe themselves as undergoing growth and expansion. While 26% ready to scale, 23% have launched a product, and 16% have a beta version, demo, or prototype. Regarding business model, 34% 34, 34 of the startups are targeting corporate business with a B2B approach. 31% are targeting bank customers and consumers with a B2C business, business model. And 28% are creating solutions for financial inclusion, targeting individual consumers or small and medium-sized businesses. in Latin America. Argentina currently has 60 startups in fintech um, in the sector of payments and remittances. Um, it is again the winner in solutions. Ch Chile has 56 startups in the sector. Colombia 77, Mexico 158 and crowdfunding is the winner here in Mexico. There are also many main players in different countries either banks, startups with great potential to grow globally, and investment funds. 
for that we can encourage uh, for that we do encourage to take a look to the study made by the Inter-American Development Bank and Fino Vista where more details are shared about these main players in the field. Um, in general, this was a very general vision of the state of fintech in Latin America. We, we hope you enjoyed the session. Um, we tried to provide an overview of what is happening, was the current state in the region. And um, we do want to continue this dialogue. We want to want to listen to your comments and suggestions, and we'll be glad to, to answer your questions. Uh, you can all you can send a, your question to the email mentioned below, which is contact at latemstartups.biz or through the hashtag mentioned below before. The hashtag is at Latem Startups. And we're happy to answer perhaps um, two or three questions now if if you have them. And in the meantime, while you're preparing the questions, if you have now, we want to share that in January eleventh. We're going to talk about the state of fintech in Canada, and this is important. As uh, this is important, as Toronto is itself is a second producer of fintech companies um, in, in the world. So this is a webinar you cannot miss. Again, this is uh, the registration is free. You can go to the Eventbrite link and sign up today. Also, want to give you. Uh, a description of what's coming up next as well, the other activities coming up with experts in fintech, and a terrific chat happening this 25th of January in Twitter, where fintech will be the spotlight, and we'd like to invite all those that have experience growing fintech companies to join in. So there's a lot of good lessons to learn and information to be shared by, by these experts. Finally, we want to remember that um, to mention that we do have a call, open call for startups, scaling up new markets, and the Latin Latin startups is receiving uh, ten startups this year to be part of an acceleration program in Toronto. So your startup will will be able to enter the North American market through Canada first. And fintech is one of the sectors we're looking to support in that in that growing phase. So we invite you to to register. Your startup, if you're interested in participating in this new Latin Startups Hub. We want to thank everyone again. It was a brief presentation, but we definitely wanted to provide this, this very general overview of the region. Again, we are here to follow up with your questions and, and, and comments by email and, and by Twitter. And we look forward to the to the next few webinars uh, about fintech, and you can ask us um, any questions regarding those via email as well. Thank you very much. My name is Rafael Pinto. I'm one of the directors of Latam Startups. It was a pleasure to share these um, these presentation and these moments with you. Thank you very much. <laughs>